All students should show their face during a live video discussion. In this video, we'll go over the reasons why. In addition to addressing issues of academic integrity, there are four very important reasons why students should show their face during a live video discussion. Reason number one, showing video of yourself greatly helps others understand what you're saying. Multiple research as well as experience has shown that a key aspect of communication is nonverbal. Everything from your facial expressions to what you do with your hands and even how you tilt your head sends a signal and is part of the message you are sending. A second reason for showing one's face during a live video discussion is that it helps others to get to know you on a much more personal level. Research has shown various benefits of video in that it helps individuals become more personable it helps people to build trust amongst one another. And it also helps to create a greater emotional connection. A third reason for showing one's face during a live discussion is that it greatly helps in building that community of inquiry, community of learning with one another. When students show their face, they become a real member of the community. This helps to build trust and it helps students to be more open and willing to learn from one another. Being able to see one another has been shown to help students be more willing and able to collaborate and work better with one another. A final reason for showing one's face during a live video discussion, a live video, is that it has become a 21st century skill. As educators, it is our duty to help students become fully employable by understanding the realities of the real world. Now it has become the new normal for individuals to interact via video just as we're doing now. Whether it's in education, in business, in government, this is the new normal. This is the 21st century skill that all students need to have. Being a great writer and one-on-one -on -one communicator is no longer enough. We need video communication skills. We need to develop greater confidence in front of the camera. We all need to work on continuing to develop our professional communication skills. Yet some students might still feel uncomfortable in front of the camera, and so they want to hide their face during a live video uh, discussion. So let's address some of those reasons why, as well as addressing some possible solutions. A big reason expressed for not showing one's face during a live video discussion is having a less than great internet connection. One way to address this issue is by managing the bandwidth usage of that live video interaction. Let's say you're using a web conferencing tool like Zoom. Having every student show their video stream uses up a lot of internet bandwidth. You can turn off all the students' video streams and then have just the student that is talking turn on their video stream. This will allow the person talking to be seen while also greatly reducing the overall bandwidth used so that those with a weaker internet connection can still actively participate. If you have to do this due to poor internet connectivity, be sure to have students use a good professional photo of themselves for their avatar within Zoom. This will help the session maintain professionality and connectedness if everyone isn't able to have their video feed on all the time. Another reason sometimes cited by students is that they're not in a good place or a good location for the live interactive discussion uh, webcast feed. Well, guess what? I'm actually not in a dedicated studio either. Hello. This video actually isn't being made in a dedicated studio. It's actually being made in my daughter's room. It has the best light. Any room will, will work just fine. All you need is a plain wall and just angle the camera or web camera or cell phone in the right way so as to show just what you wanna show and thereby uh, avoiding any other clutter. One could even hang up a bed sheet if they wanted a plain background. Another possibility when using Zoom is to use its built-in virtual background tool. But notice that most of the default options are not the background image that would be best in a classroom environment. Ensure that students avoid uploading inappropriate or distracting images or videos. Something like this is extremely distracting. Something like this is cute, but again, distracting, inappropriate, doesn't work well for the educational environment where the focus needs to be on the student and the professor 
in the educational community. So again, something that's not distracting, something that uh, isn't inappropriate. An appropriate background would be something like a plain background or something that is simple, normal, something that presents more of a professional appearance. Another reason that students might give for not wanting to show their face during a live discussion is that they're simply anxious. Um, they're worried about having everybody's eyes on them. Plus, what happens if mom or dad or a sibling uh, interrupts the live discussion and comes into frame? You know, what about that? The answer is, welcome to the real world. And I know that some people might be anxious, but they need to learn to overcome that. In fact, everyone needs to work on continuing to developing this capability because it's a true 21st century skill. So we must, we must all work to continually develop our professional communication skills. At the same time, we must work with the students and let them know that they don't have to be perfect on camera. It's okay if there's an interruption now and again. We want to tell them that it's not the end of the world. They're not going to get docked off points if uh, mom interrupts with a plate of chocolate chip cookies or something like that. That's no big deal. The thing is we must maintain a growth mindset and continue to overcome these challenges. With more experience, we'll get better and better. So we'll all become more professional and better learners as well. And remember, learning is for life. Mm -hmm.